Good evening to you, I'm Andy Sanderson, this is Ruby here. This evening we've come to show you a converted barn set amongst beautiful countryside, as you can see here, called Perth Derry. Before we go around the actual property itself, I thought it really appropriate to bring you here just one or two fields away, about 200 yards in fact, to show you these two ancient burial tombs. These are early Neolithic tombs, which makes them nearly 6,000 years old, and they are some of the earliest stone structures known in the whole of the UK. During the early Neolithic period, it's rather appropriate that at this stage, this is when human beings started chopping down trees, clearing the area, and farming it with crops and animals. Eventually, Perth, Perth Dairy was built for those animals, and that's what I'm gonna show you now. Now amazingly, I'm only about one or two hundred yards away from the village centre, but I feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere and I haven't actually been down this path before. Although, looking over there, I can just see the barn now. Yep, that's Perth Dairy. Let's go over there, Rube, let's go. Well, that's a relief. We've come out at the right place. This is Perth Dairy and I'm in the front paddock here. Let's go up and have a look what it's like. If you were driving here rather than walking over the fields from the village like I did, this is the um, driveway up to the front of the property. That's the sea in the distance there. It's a bit cloudy this evening. It doesn't look so good, but it's really still peaceful here, even though it's a bit windy. Then you've got this turnaround area right at the front of the barn conversion. But there's also this extensive parking area that goes around the side and slightly around to the back as well. Right at the back here, we've got this pigsty area, but it's now used as log storage rather than for actual uh, pigs. So it'd be quite amazing if you were thinking of moving here and having a family, because you could say to your kids, do you think you're born in a barn when they leave the doors open? And then if their rooms are messy, you can go, do you think you're living in a pigsty? Ruby's quite interested in them. This is a view from the back of the garden out towards the coast. Then on the north side, or to the right, is the dilapidated caravan. Now this isn't fit for occupancy, it's just used as a store. Now this static caravan actually stands on a very uneven, but concrete hard standing area. Could be useful if you want to put anything else on there, like a shed or, or something. Now I haven't got time in this video to show you everything about Perfect Dairy. Um, and if the location isn't enough for you, then it's probably not for you anyway. But the, in addition to the location, they put this two bedroom single bathroom extension on the back in about 2009 and this is a game changer for the property because it now makes it four bedrooms and that's all modern construction so it's going to be nice and warm in there. So although I'm coming through the main front door here, this is no longer the main entrance because there's a new one on the back but just look over there at the sea view and the sunset that you get. The property's got lovely traditional style interior doors there's a log burner in the lounge and the lounge bow window has got a lovely coastal view out to the west as well. Kitchen diner oozes style and character with the high A-frame roof timbers and it's a lovely family area with an open plan kitchen. This utility room used to be the bathroom so you could quite easily squeeze a shower unit into here as well if you wanted to. However, with a main bathroom like this Everybody will be fighting for the use of this one first, I think. This is the main rear hallway, again with the nice traditional doors, laminate flooring and high ceiling. As well as the two bedrooms to the side of the property, there's also these two new bedrooms which are built at the back and they've both got French doors to outside as well. What do you think has been the best thing about living here? The view and the peace, I think, yeah, it's a very peaceful place to be. Well, it's been an absolutely lovely ending to a very windy day today with the sun setting over there, over the Llyn Peninsula. If you'd like to come and see Perth Dairy yourself, please give me a call on the usual number 01341 281 599. 
And if you're thinking about selling a property in Snowdonia, don't forget to follow the link that's coming up and download my ebook all about getting the best price and selling as quickly as possible. I'm Andy Sanderson, this is Ruby. Thanks very much for watching and bye bye for now. Thank you.